Welcome to Auto Drive Gallery. The E350E's powertrain consolidates the endeavors of a 208 horsepower turbocharged inline 4 with a 87 horsepower electric engine arranged between the motor and the 9 speed programmed gearbox. The C350E utilizes the more established 7 speed unit. This is nourished electrons spilling out of a 6.2 kWh battery pack mounted underneath the storage compartment floor, giving an asserted aggregate framework yield of 282 torque. The battery can be energized through a port on the back guard, with the Mercedes citing 3 hours to charge it from an European 220 volt outlet or a large portion of that with a DC quick charger, on the other hand, it can be renewed by the motor. Mercedes claims a 21 mile electric just range, despite the fact that this is estimated utilizing the famously idealistic European test procedure. All the same, the electric help can significantly decrease fuel utilization on short pull trips. The framework is brilliant, as well, working out the most productive procedure when a goal is customized into the nav framework, running the battery down on the off chance that it knows it will wind up at a consistent charge point or attempting to keep up battery level if making a beeline for a urban territory. The framework additionally can be given charges. The default hybrid mode abandons it to its own gadgets, but at the same time there's e-mode which transforms the E350 into a NEV until the point that the battery is exhausted, E-Save, which keeps up the charge level for later utilize, and Charge, which utilizes the gas motor to recharge the battery pack on the fly. It's the point at which the E350 is requested to convey quicker advance that it begins to battle. It's the commonplace crossbreed issue, the need to convey the mass of two diverse impetus frameworks implies that it doesn't feel as brisk as its aggregate framework yield proposes it should. Its creator's claim of a 6.2 second 0 to 62 mile per hour time feels right, and the E positively leaves the line with a fantastic snap in a full throttle step situation. Be that as it may, as speed rises, the commitment made by the electric side of the powertrain starts to reduce while the impressive mass of the battery pack and the engine continue as before. Once at a quick throughway pace, or a British reproduction thereof, it subjectively feels no speedier than is the E300. The four-barrel motor likewise gets entirely vocal under harder utilize. It doesn't feel as brisk or refined as a Mercedes wearing a 350 identification should. The heaviness of the battery pack likewise makes its quality felt on rougher surfaces and amid harder utilize. Mercedes claims that the E350 E weighs around 4,250 pounds, which is about 600 pounds more than an Eurospec 4 barrel E300 and 200 pounds more than an all-wheel drive V43 with a twin-turbo V6. In spite of its standard versatile air spring suspension, the E350E dependably rides as though it is wearing impressively heavier boots, being less ready to turn than its lighter keen and with understeer arriving before the actual arranged time while we hybrided our way around on oily British street surfaces. Regardless it feels astonishingly created at cruising speeds, with a correspondingly whisper com lodge, However it certainly is the slightest athletic of the present E-classes that we have encountered. Similarly as with most crossbreeds, the mileage depends totally on the kind of trips the auto is utilized for. An E350A that just bounces between inward city charging focuses may seldom begin its motor, however one that is utilized overwhelmingly for longer excursions will see no mileage advantage contrasted in the E300. We didn't run an appropriate efficiency test. However the Trek PC revealed the US lightness 37 miles per gallon after a 30 mile travel that additionally included utilizing the whole battery charge. That constrains its allure in Europe, where diesels stay more cheap for anything aside from the briefest of excursions, gas should be a ton more costly before it bodes well in the US, either. We don't prefer to be denied autos, however we can see the rationale of Mercedes on this one.